Alrighty, what's up everybody? My name is Zelko and welcome back to another episode of Smy Super Builds. And today we have Hades. He was indeed a requested build for a mainly tank with damage. So, um, here we are. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go with the actives. So, actives first, as always, depend on what you're doing. If you are in Conquest, you definitely want um, Hog. Everywhere else, you may not need it. You know, um, Assault, you definitely want to get Salvation. But besides all the fact, uh, I may be wondering why I have Blink if we have our 1. Uh, Greater Blink works really well to avoid having to waste your 1. Um, now, if you want to use your 1 first, that's fine. I mean, that gets damage off, and uh, I believe it also adds Blight. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But the the technique with using Greater Blink, uh, you can use Greater Blink. They won't really see you coming. You just Blink out um, instead of they actually seeing you going under and then popping up type of effect. Uh, this is much quicker and it saves your one in case you need to use your one to get out. Um, so that's just a little tip there. You you don't have to use it. It's whatever. Um, then after once you you know get to wherever you're trying to get to uh, trying to ulti them, you can first you use a feeling curse to slow them down by um, thirty percent or sorry forty percent and their attack speed by thirty percent. This way you know the hunters and assassins can't really burn you down that fast. And it prevents them from moving, you know, just running away from where you're, you know, trying to use your ulti from. So ideally, you can blink, uh, use your, uh, use your feeble curse, then your ulti, and then you're good to go. Uh, and then you can use your one to get out if you're getting burned too much, or you can disregard all this and moving on. Uh, we're gonna go choose a focus first. Now, if you're fighting a team with a lot of CCs and whatnot, you may want to get in, uh, reinforced greaves because of the passive of 30% reduction to all CCs. Uh, so that, that basically means you won't be stunned as long. So if, there, if you don't have that many CCs and whatnot, uh, I'm trying to go with Shoes of Focus. I, I'm, I get Shoes of Focus more for my tanks now instead of going Reinforced Greaves, uh, just because I like the, the cooldown reduction. Um, so yeah, I go with that. And then definitely Sovereignty because Hades, he has like the, the crappiest scaling as far as HP and whatnot. Uh, and defense scaling as well. So Sovereignty is going to boost us up, um, give us the protections that we need, and also has a great aura to help our allies. Moving on, we're going to go with Heidi the Urchin. Uh, since we are, you know, we need some damage in this build, uh, Heidi the Urchin is going to let us do that by, you know, having this passive. It's basically 65 physical and magical protection. That's a lot of uh, protections and the health is going to help us out as well because we really desperately need health. Hades, like I said, he has the worst health, health scaling as a guardian and compared to all the guardians. And we get it kind of early so we can get the passives going quicker. Next, Bancroft's Talon is definitely a must have on Hades, especially on a damage build. Uh, for one, obviously, magical power, but the life steal helps us out uh, because typically you're the main target once you start using your ulti, because for one, you're standing still, so it's really easy to land ultis like Quangs, Raws, uh, etc. And also with the passive Bancroft Talent, as if they try to burn you while they're you know in your circle or whatever, you're gonna do more damage with the passive Bancroft Talent. Moving on, Void Stone is gonna act as basically penetration. So uh, we may not have penetration boots, but Void Stone will act as penetration for whoever is stuck in our ulti. And this is gonna help out um, our teammates as well because any mages are gonna do more damage because obviously the enemies will have reduced magical protection. This also gives you magic, uh, magic, magical protection, if I can speak, and magical power. Moving on, Ethereal Staff, I get Ethereal Staff it's uh, it's more of those like hybrid builds. It's gonna give you a lot of HP, which Hades needs, and uh, we also get magical power based off our health and mana to complement our cooldown reduction. So I have all twenty or all ten stacks, sorry, of the height of the urchin. So um, if you want the raw build, um, raws meaning without the uh, the stacks, it will just take off twenty protections off our base stats, and there you go. Uh, but we're looking pretty good right here. If you look at our health bars, it's looking really nice. 3300, uh, 2100 mana, not too bad. 287 magical power, that's pretty good for a hybrid build. Uh, 232 physical defense and 183 magical defense. Um, so if you need more magical defense, uh, definitely go with Stone of Gaia. That's going to help you out a lot. Or just go with one of these. Uh, Borg of Hope works really good. 
it'd be even better because that health just turns into magical power with other stuff. And of course, if you're fighting healers or Hercules or Vamana or Shock, uh, Pestilence works really good at shutting those health regeneration and healing gods down. So overall, not too bad of a build here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of damage testing. Overall, not too bad. We're still really, really tanky. Uh, so finally, I'm going to just go over to um, to Raw here. The other side, if I can make this any any quicker, please. Uh, and with the cooldown reduction that we do have, this is our cooldowns right here. So 10 seconds, our 2 gets reduced as we level it up. And so is our 3, so they're both on the same timer. And finally, our ulti at 76 seconds. So... Not, not too bad of, as a burn. <laughs> I mean, you're healing yourself up in the same time. Uh, and also, Hades can get away with building some damage, mainly because of his ulti. As, we, as you can see, we get 80 protections, and then we uh, have to debuff if the enemies are blind. So, I mean, protection-wise, we're really up there. We get really high as when we use our ulti. So, that's going to wrap it up for the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.